Beating Wolverine permanently requires some very extreme methods, like complete incineration. If you wanted to find a way to stop a raging Wolverine from hunting you down, one of the better options you could try would be to completely burn Logan away. But there's something you should know before you try it. During the Civil War that broke out between superheroes with Iron Man and Captain America each leading their respective side, the X-Men took a neutral stance in the matter. However, Wolverine decided to hunt down the villain who in incited the civil war in the first place known as Nitro. Upon fighting the villain, Nitro detonated himself, burning away all of Wolverine's clothes, melting his skin, then finally his flesh, organs, just everything, incinerating Logan down to a simple skeleton that just laid there. To really put how hot this is in perspective, we know that humans can comfortably take hot baths that are generally around 40 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Any Anything over this temperature, like that 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degree Fahrenheit cup of coffee you cherish in the morning, will activate an individual's pain receptors, specifically their nociceptors, the very nerves inside your body that are responsible for letting you know that something is too hot or too cold. At 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, this is enough to burn Logan's skin, while temperatures of 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit would then begin to ignite and melt off his skin and any underlying tissue. Well, finally, at the cremation temperatures of 1200 degrees Celsius or 2100 degrees Fahrenheit, this is what is needed to burn Wolverine down to the very bone. Unfortunately, even this isn't enough to kill him, as Wolverine will simply lie there while his nervous system slowly regrows from the untouched cells inside the marrow of his bones. So, if someone really wanted to kill Wolverine via heat, they would have to find a way to melt not only his flesh, but specifically his adamantium bonded skeleton and the tissue housed within it. Problem though, is adamantium has a far higher melting point than any real world metal. Being lowballed near 6000 degrees Fahrenheit or 3300 degrees Celsius. In other words, a temperature below that of the sun's surface. A feat which Magneto nearly accomplished by hurling Wolverine toward the sun. Oddly enough, you wouldn't have to throw Wolverine into the sun itself. You just would have to get him close to it, as the sun's surrounding atmosphere has been measured to easily be 300 times hotter than its surface, reaching 1 million degrees Celsius. That's like the power of over 14,000 steamy baths combined, and will definitely put an end to Logan. Or you could just vaporize him with a futuristic laser gun and call it a day. That being said, there is a far easier way that anyone could deal with Logan. If the adamant team itself doesn't kill Wolverine first. Cause in the movie and storyline, while Wolverine's healing factor is dampened until eventually it can no longer save him, Wolverine dies from not only the adamantium poisoning his body, putting his healing factor into overdrive, but he also dies thanks to the genetically modified corn being put into any product that contain corn or corn syrup. So basically anything outside of the produce section. That's because this modified corn contained the quintessential mutant cure that could target and destroy an individual's X gene. A method that is quite possible to accomplish as this method of mutant extermination is essentially what is known as targeted therapy or precision medicine. Where for something like, say, cancer treatment, a drug or treatment can be created to target specific cells, proteins, or even specific genes inside of cells, altering or even killing them. And while this cure didn't target the specifics of Wolverine's personal X gene, it's still was enough to severely tamper with it, causing him to finally start aging and eventually die to any sort of significant wound. That being said, if any government really wanted to take Logan and only him out, seeing how they already have his DNA, they could come up with an even more targeted drug catered to the specifics of his X gene, of the very DNA sequences that make it up. Then start blasting Logan with enough X gene curing bullets and a team of soldiers might stand a chance of taking him out. But as I mentioned before, there lies a far easier way known to villains being drowning. We know that Logan originally weighed 195 pounds or 88 kilograms, and after his adamantium dip, he came out weighing closer to 300 pounds or 136 kilograms. But even with all the additional weight, Wolverine can swim when he needs to. It's just insanely tiring for him to keep up, partly being thanks to the fact that adamantium has zero 
about buoyancy. Buoyancy being the term that describes an object's ability to float when in a liquid. Human bone, while being denser than water, causing it to undoubtedly sink, still exhibits some degree of buoyancy, even if it's pretty small, thanks to the small pockets of air that are trapped within the bone structure. Small pockets of air that are still present within Wolverine's adamantium bonded bones. However, regular bone is mostly made of a calcium phosphate called hydroxyapatite, with a person's skeleton making up approximately 14% of their weight. Wolverine's adamantium bones, on the other hand, now take up nearly 22% of his weight. And while this difference may seem small percentage-wise, it's more than enough for Logan to sink like a rock. And as Sabretooth reasoned, while their healing factors can heal their tissue back to near perfection, a healing factor cannot fix an oxygen-starved brain. Their brains would generally be rendered inoperable if they drowned. Even Deadpool is said to eventually die if his head isn't reattached to his body in time for him to breathe. At least that's what Wolverine used to think. Until one day while floating on a raft, Wolverine recalled how in World War II he was part of a nighttime mission to destroy a German battle cruiser off the coast of Denmark, where once inside the ship, the Royal Navy torpedoed the boat, and Logan found himself pinned inside where he periodically drowned to death twice a day for two months, until eventually he was found. And this shows that Logan's healing factor can and will regenerate his brain tissue once it senses that oxygen is present in the environment. And this leaves us with the last and most practical way that Professor X himself thought of to kill Wolverine. As strange as it was for me to put science into these videos to show that learning is awesome and a lot easier when it's tied to something familiar, Professor X's plan to permanently take out Wolverine is perhaps the most simple, being to decapitate the guy safely from a distance with the help of an expert sniper or specifically mutant-like Cyclops. As Professor X noted that any head-on assault would be suicide for most anyone, there's just one major problem. Because Wolverine's spine is covered in adamantium, you would need to make sure that your strike is so swift and precise as to only go through the cushy, intervertebral discs that lie between any of the seven cervical vertebrae. Intervertebral discs that are on average four to six millimeters thick in the neck. Be a little off and the beam or blade is likely to stop against the adamantium bone and Wolverine ain't gonna be too happy. However, if you are successful, your work still isn't done. As we showed, Wolverine is so powerful that Professor X has noted that Logan's nervous system has the capacity to either completely regenerate his entire body like Deadpool or even reattach itself back to his original body. So his head would have to swiftly be taken far away and likely placed somewhere without oxygen. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved my most interesting fact for last. Wolverine's healing factor has gotten to be so powerful that it can allow him to remain conscious and walk around even after his heart has been removed, which we fully cover in this video about how powerful Wolverine is. Tap on his glowing eyes for some absurd feats and I'll see you in the next one.